How's it going everyone? My name is Clink and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Today is the day that we finally do the mission that I haven't been able to shut up about for this entire game. Paranormal Chaos. I'm getting strange paranormal readings on the terrace. We'd better send you in to expect the place. inspect the place. Luigi, I can't tell if this is good news or bad news, but after de you defeated Big Boo, the periscope detected a radical new signal. It indicates something I've never seen before, a distortion in the very fabric of our dimension. To put it simply, a portal. Luigi, a paranormal portal on the terrace. Told you would be revisiting the terrace. I'd wager that the final Dark Moon piece is hidden beyond that portal, and that's why we haven't found it. I'd bet my glasses that you'll find Mario's painting and King Boo in there too. Now, entering a paranormal portal is extremely dangerous, but Luigi, we don't have a choice. Be careful, young feller. The future of Evershade Valley is in your hands. So, uh, the main reason I have mentioned this level so much is because when I first played this game at release, I... I think it took me around like three weeks to beat the game or so, three weeks to a month, somewhere around there. A whole week of that was just this level. I was stuck for days on this level. It took me so many tries. I got so frustrated trying to beat this level. Um, essentially, this level is going to be a... Wait, 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 wait. Actually, I want to move that back. We are going to head to the aviation exhibit first uh to get the boo because you want to do you can do this once you start the mission but you don't want to you want to do it now um because this is a timed mission uh, essentially the clock will be ticking down this is the space exhibit the aviation exhibit was up here i think um so yeah the clock will tick down the entire time and you will have to capture tons of ghosts and they will be some of the hardest ghosts in the game all within, I want to say it's about 15 minutes. I'm Marabou. Do you think I'd look classy with feathers? And this is our final boo of the game, actually. Other than King Boo. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to be curious to see if this mission is actually as hard as I remember. Um, I've yet to die on this playthrough of the game, so... If I die even once, that already makes it the toughest mission in terms of ghost encounters and combat for me. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm, I'm really excited to do this mission. I remember this mission, like I said, being really tough. Um, but I'm wondering if it's just one of those things I'm going to find really fun now. Now that I've got more game experience under my belt. Um, because getting to this at the end of the game, when this is like, you know, the first Luigi's Mansion game I got to fully play through by myself, I was like, man, this is, this is rough. But I got it eventually. It, it was still doable, even for a 10-year-old. Yeah, as you can see, uh, there's just a dimensional rift that sent a ton of ghosts out, which is just lovely. Criminy, the paranormal levels just shot through the roof. This is really serious, Luigi. The portal will have to wait. If we don't reduce the paranormality, our dimension could collapse upon itself. I'll update your map with the ghost locations. Look lively, youngster. So, um, as you can see, the mansion has now got ghosts everywhere. The way I will tackle this is by running back to the lobby and we'll head over there. The timer is not started yet, it seems like, but it most certainly will soon. So we're going to have to hurry up. Um, you're going to want to use the portals to get around quickly. Uh, that's a 
pretty obvious thing to realize, I think. But uh, remember what the portals are? When I was younger, I was really bad at remembering which one was which, but I mean, it was pretty obvious to me now. So we'll go towards uh, one of the first rooms, which seems to be the nautical exhibit. It's not only the strong versions of the ghost, at least, and I really need to uh, be able to get both in one go. Uh, having the super culture gust or whatever, that's gonna certainly be helpful. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we've just already got more ghosts spawning on us before we can even take out the current ones. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be a whole lot. I want both of you. There we go. Just like before, I want both at once. Um, by the time I build this up, I'll probably be good to just use the... I want to get them down to like 50. There we go. Because I want to get the gold. I mean, there's not a reason for me to, but... Did they remove the time limit on this? Where's the timer? There's no way they removed the time limit. That's like what made this mission so difficult. It was like 15 minutes or something. It was actually crazy. Um, just like how strict the time limit was. Because there was points where I eventually got to be able to do the mission. Like I wouldn't die anymore, but I was just running out of time. Um, to how strict the time limit felt at the time. More ghosts about, check your map. I'd love to, but I can't yet. Uh, Arctic and jungle exhibits. All right. So we'll head to the Arctic exhibit first, take out whatever's over here. Looks like sneakers. There's one behind me, of course. Where's the other one? I don't see its footprints in the snow yet. There it is. Alright. Where'd he go? I'm just going to the corner here. I think I heard another ghost, but we're just gonna have to deal with this one first. Perfect timing. Alright. There we go. Nice and easy. More ghosts located. Give them up for. I haven't even finished this group. We'll go to the jungle exhibit first. Uh, it looks like there's just stuff uh, in the Dark Age exhibit, and probably the desert one too, but... Ugh. Gobber. I was thinking I remember there being a gobber here. There's always a gobber. Let's just take the hit. It's fine. No. Oh my god. You're almost dead though. We'll take out the gobber. That's the only one in here. We're back at full health. They're still coming. I've got to say, I'm disappointed that the time limit's gone. Out of out of how little I think they've changed, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure how much has honestly been changed. Uh, but it does feel like very little. And, um, like, I can't believe that this is a, all things was changed. Like, this was such a tough, like, penultimate mission, really. Um, but, like, I don't know. It was... I'm not, I'm not gonna say it was a bad mission, though, the way it was, but... I don't know. I, like, very clearly remember that time limit. Just gonna zap you at two, whatever. Uh-oh. There we go. Alright. That should be that room cleared. Alright. And then we can go to the Dark Age exhibit. Uh, how's the map looking? Uh, oh, okay. So they do eventually go away. You just have to be pretty quick. Still got it. There's just no explicit timer. Which is odd, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna hopefully get this one in time before I get attacked by the other one. Alright, I want both of you to attack. Uh-oh. Armed greenies. 
Just getting them to drop their weapons is honestly just as important to me. Ooh, that is what I like to see. And into the vacuum we go, room complete. Get the health back. Alright, so what rooms were... Okay. Uh, they're already yellow? That's crazy. Alright, let's hurry over to the kitchen, and then we gotta go over to the bathroom. Hiders. Lovely. Hiders are not what I want to deal with, if I'm being completely honest, but... I'm assuming they can go red. I'm assuming it doesn't just immediately go down to, um... Ooh, the dog bone. That's good. In here, there should have been one. Where are they at? Slipped on something. But here's another hider. Okay, fine. We'll get this one. We'll get it, maybe? Nah. Oh, wait. That's a different one. Alright. Into the vacuum you go. Yeah, hiders are not my favorite enemy to deal with. I've got to be honest. They're probably my lead. Yeah, I don't like the, the purple one, but the hiders can just be really freaking annoying. For almost no reason. Just take this one out. And how we looking on the other one? It's still yellow, so I'm all right with that. gotta rush over to it oh there we go it's in the red but I'm assuming that it stays in that time frame for the same amount of time as the other stuff or whatever but uh, oh, of course all right I see the other puddle in the back here I was gonna say where's my mini map that's scaring me are we done? Get back to the terrace. I'm getting some mighty strange readings from there. Perfect. All right. I remember there being a poltergeist. Like, I feel like there was a whole second wave after all of this. All right, we just got a wave of greenies. Shatter their shields. Take these out. Alright, I'm gonna get the money before I actually go and capture these guys. Is that smart? Eh, probably not, but... It's whatever. Captured. Alright. And these guys will be pretty easy. Let's get the mummies. Oh my goodness, they're already just like flooding me with ghosts right here. Let's burn that mummy. Ooh. Yeah, the mummies are something that have to be burned, I think. The sneakers are gonna probably be problematic right now. All right, let's get this mummy. Oh crap. All right, right here. Into the fire you go. What? Oh my god, I slipped on the thing. Alright, I want to get the sneakers. The sneaker and the slammer are probably the worst enemies to deal with right now. Wrap them out of existence, get some health back. Deal with the sneaker. The greenies are fine. Dodge that. Okay. I want to deal with the bucket head. Can't believe I didn't get hit by that green ear right there. That is crazy. Uh oh, I did not want to pick that bucket up. We got the full greenie squad. The meanie greenies. No. Zap. 
The shielded greenies are such an interesting enemy. I think it's actually kind of fun that they've mixed them in here. Uh, of course, there's got to be a gobber. I want to deal with these first, and then we'll deal with the gobber. Dealing with a gobber and two armed, like, greenies, that's horrible. Looks like I've got these guys in, like, the same pattern, though. Uh-oh. No! Oh, oh, I got one. Alright. Hit it. Perfect. I'm just gonna tank the hit. <laughs> Not a smart idea, but uh, I'd rather get the greenie out. Because I think we'll be fine with the gobber. It looks like he might be the final enemy. Just gotta play it pretty safe. Alright, let's not get too close. And I think we're done. Whew. Okay. That was just a fun mission, honestly. Luigi, you've done it again. You're a ghost catching artist, son, and the Poltergust 5000 is your paintbrush, which, by the way, must be jam packed with ghosts. Let's unload it before you go through that creepy portal. Okay. That mission was not nearly as hard as it was for me when I was younger, but. As you can see, I got kind of close into the red on that last room, so I guess there's not a outright overall time limit. Maybe maybe I'm misremembering the time limit itself and that it is just that the rooms disappear after a while, because I know when the rooms are gone, um, you lose, I think. Like, I don't think you can actually, like, pull it back if the rooms disappear when they show up, so, um, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure... One of you out there is honestly more knowledgeable about it than I am, but I really liked that mission, honestly. It's... <laughs> I liked how fast-paced it was. Felt pretty pretty intense by this game's standards. I really like all the puzzle-solving missions, but... Uh, like, I actually just really enjoyed every mission in Treacherous Mansion, honestly. Phew, I wasn't sure you were going to make it, youngster. That may have been your toughest challenge so far. Great job capturing those ghosts. Spectral Mass is updated, new boo, and that is the last boo. So um, here is one thing I'm going to point out as well once Egad's done talking here. King Boo must have flipped out when we defeated Big Boo, so he sent a horde of ghosts to stop us, but by doing so he showed us exactly how to get to him. Ho-ho, that's right Sonny, the paranormal portal, it's still open, but we've gotta hurry, who knows when he'll close it. King Boo, wherever you are, your days are numbered. Ho ho. Right, Luigi? Mm. Okay. So here's the thing. I've, I've already looked this up because I wanted to make sure to, uh, to be able to do this. In the next part, it will begin after I have already beaten the final boss. Because once you defeat the boss of the Treacherous Mansion, you will immediately be sent into the King Boo fight. I want King Boo to be the final main episode. Maybe we'll do bonus episodes on Scarescraper. We'll see. Um, but I, I haven't seen like what you guys said when I posted that question still. So um, I will start with the bonus mission in the next episode, and then I will do the boss. So it's tech that will be recorded, you know, after the final boss. And then we'll do this boss, and then that part will end. And then there will be the final part where we'll fight King Boo. Just to give you a heads up on how I'm going to structure the final two parts here. Uh, but with that, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you all next time for the end of the Treacherous Mansion. Bye-bye.